Well, hello there, warriors. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It just depends on what time you guys are watching this video. Uh, I miss you guys so much still. Uh, can't wait to see you guys. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Um, Coach Morris having an amazing day. Um, so I just wish that you, oh, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day as well um, and staying out of trouble. All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, staying healthy part two. All right. And staying healthy. Part one, we talked about being physically fit. Um, we review what physical fitness was, um, the components of physical fitness. And then we talked about ways we can stay physically fit um, at your house. Um, so um, and then I sent you guys videos um, in the description below of the last video of um, some ways you guys can stay physically fit. Today, we're going to be talking about staying healthy and staying away from viruses. Mm. Um, as you guys know, we're at home because of the coronavirus. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how we can stay away from all viruses, um, not just the coronavirus. All right. But first, we have to warm up. Get ready. to the right, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Shake your arms, shake your head, shake your body. All right, now we're going to go into a jog, a light jog, ready and go. 
Shall I get out? Good. Get a jog. Imagine you're outside. The wind is blowing in your hair. You can see the sun. All right, now we're gonna get into some high knees. All right, so high knees is to make sure you get your knees up. So we're gonna get them up. Ready and go. Knees up. Good job. Yep. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. All right, now we're gonna go into bottom kicks. Ready, and bottom kicks look like this. Gonna go like this. Make sure your heels are trying to kick your bottom. I think Titus is getting excited. Good job. And good, we're done. All right, you guys feel nice and warm. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, next part, we're gonna talk about how to stay away from viruses while we're at the house. All right. Whew. All right, back at the table. Man, that was a good warm up. Coach Moore was sweating. Whew. All right. So let's talk about staying away from viruses. All right, now I know you're wondering, Coach Moore, why are we talking about viruses? This is PE. Um, we don't talk about viruses in PE, but we do talk about the body, all right? And we're talking about staying healthy and being fit. Well, what good is it being fit if you get sick? Or how can you be fit when you're sick? Those two don't match. Because when you're sick, you can't work out. You can't exercise. So I want to make sure that you stay healthy at home by not getting sick. So we're going to talk about staying away from viruses. All right. But first, we have to know what a virus is. All right. So listening ears, make sure you're listening. This is what a virus is. A virus is an infectious organism that's very, 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 very small. You can't even see it. You need a, a microscope to see it um, that multiplies when it gets inside your body on your living cells. I know you're wondering, like, Coach Moore, what are you talking about? I don't know what all that is. What is? What are you talking about? All right, so let me explain it, okay? So here, Coach Moore has drawn a body, all right? And in this body, um, you have living cells that look like this, 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 and they're all over your body, and they're very small, and it's way more than, than that on in your body. It's like a lot of them, all right? So what a virus does is it enters your body, and it attacks these cells. So it may be one little virus and then it gets and it starts attacking this cell and it starts attacking this cell and then they become viruses and then that becomes a virus and then that becomes a virus and then that becomes a virus. So at first you started off with one little virus and now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. All right, so just imagine that eight being like 800 cells. That's contaminated because this little virus entered your body and started contaminating all these viruses so it multiplied all right so that's what multiply means when it's when it increases so it started at one now it's at eight and it's going to keep going it's going to multiply all right because it's attacking these cells and then they're becoming viruses as well all right so we need to find out how we can stay away from that because that's very serious that's a lot of cells that they just took all right so the only way viruses can get inside your body is an opening. First defense of a virus is your skin. All right? When a virus lands on your skin, there's no way it can get inside your body. All right? Because your skin is your first protection. All right? So making sure that your skin is good is the first way to stay away from viruses. Making sure that you don't have any cuts. Um, open cuts, all right? And if you do have a cut, make sure it has a Band-Aid on it, all right, and some medicine on it. That way it's closing up, all right? So first thing you can do is make sure that you have no openings in your skin, in your skin, all right? No cuts, and if you do, you need to cover them up. That way viruses cannot get inside your body through a cut, all right? Second way is that viruses can get inside your bodies and other openings in your body. All right, take a look at Coach Moore. What are some openings in my body that viruses can get in? Let's see if you can tell. Yep, you guessed it, your eyes, 
your nose, your mouth, your ears. All right. Those are all other ways viruses can get inside your body. All right. So how can we stay away from that? What can we do? All right. So like I said, making sure that your skin is covered up or that breaks in your skin, like cuts and stuff are covered up. Um, number two is washing your hands. Just think about it. You're outside, you're playing, uh, and then you come inside because you're hungry and you grab some chips without washing your hands and you put it in your mouth. Now, whatever was outside is now inside your mouth and has germs, that could be a virus, and that has entered your body and that's attacking your cells. Mm. All right, so making sure that we wash our hands. And not just washing them with water, but you also need soap. So let's do warm water and soap for about 25 seconds. All right. So you count to 25 as you're washing those hands. You get that soap, lather up, your hands are wet, and then you rinse them. All right. 25 seconds. Another way that you can stay away from um, viruses is covering your mouth when you cough or having other people cover their mouth when they cough. I right, just think about it. You feel any kind of sick or you feel something in your throat. And you may not even be sick. Just feel something in your throat and you cough. <clears throat> Whatever was in your throat, any germs, any viruses, is now in the air. And now it can get on other people or a surface that other people may touch. And then it's on their bodies. All right? So make sure you cover your mouth <coughs> when you cough. All right? And make sure other people are covering their mouth when they cough. All right? That way it doesn't spread the virus. All right, and the last thing that we can do um, to stay away from viruses is clean. All right, and I know a lot of us don't clean a lot. We let our parents clean, but we can help them clean, all right, with their supervision. All right, so ask your mom, ask your dad, ask your parents, whoever's there with you, um, that you want to clean. Maybe clean your toys, all right, because they have germs on them. All right, so get some soap, get a paper towel, get some water, and let's clean those uh, those toys or um, whatever you guys play with a lot, all right, and help your parents clean. All right, with their supervision, though, make sure they're looking. All right, so those are some ways we can stay away from viruses. All right, in the description below, there's a video um, about viruses and how our body helps us attack viruses. All right, um, make sure you take a look at that video. Um, and if you want, you can show me some ways you guys are um, combating this virus that's taking over um, with pictures and videos that you can send to my email. All right. Um, that is it for today. We're just talking about viruses. We did a good warm up um, and that's it. All right. Uh, I miss you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay away from viruses. Bye, guys.